fun. Got a fun day of mining. Hopefully we don't get murdered yet again. I have been getting murked most of the uh, last few minutes I've been trying to get things organized, but I managed to get some of my energy tonics exchanged. I have to get some more karma and... At the moment, we are over here in Pilgrim's Haven. We're going to try to get more of the Unknown Ore, finish using up all of my energy before heading out into another dungeon. I don't have long. It's going to be a short little stream, so we're not going to waste too much time. I'm just going to get right into this, and hopefully we can get as many stones as we can possibly like get in the, la in the next maybe hour and a half. And we're also trying to manage our energy so that we don't use too much i'm gonna be a little bit upset if i happen to get murdered yet again and lose all like more of my crystals i just lost two of them unfortunately and when you're in negative karma you can't restore your crystal so that's uh, a little bummer tiny little setback okay i say a tiny little setback but i i really mean a huge setback what's up vaz how you doing i've already turned in my unknown or daily or um the once family quest whatever the fuck it is so now we're just trying to gather them trying to open them and see if we can't get any of the i'm gonna i hope to get any of the macaloids i already got one i need three more just for my matchlock hunting crystal preset Oh, yeah, because of how they made it readily available. <laughs> like, just coming out here doing my mining, I've already gotten 26. Like, they they helped it out a lot. Yeah, and Ulakita. So, not only did they increase the alchemy ingredients for some of the uh, bottlenecks that we had, but they also added the uh, traces onto Ulukita, which everyone's going to be out there grinding anyway. Now, if only they could do something with savagery, which this event will take care of the savagery, needing it, wanting to buy it, all of the above. We got 394 energy with 7 minutes remaining on our tonics, and I do have other alts I can go out there and exchange the energy with, but if I do, I'm going to have to try to make sure they have no crystals on. I used to... I used to go ahead and, and do that, but now I'm trying to get all of the weapon stones from the hunter seal and with the whole new update coming out that's removing the armor stones from it i kind of think i want to do that before the update comes out try to get as much as i can from the hunter seal before they remove remove the exchange of the hunter seal with the um armor or for the armor we got two of the unknown or let's I'm going to try my luck. I'm not I'm not expecting much, but we'll find out. Let's let's see. Absolutely nothing. All right. Oops, damn it. Bam, bam, bam. Doing our usual mining. Ah, don't need that. Oh, damn it. And let's 
throw more things into... I'm thinking the central market. Put that in, that in. All right, should be good. Okay, still no message. We are good. What's up, Baron? How you doing today? Hope everything is working out for you. Hope you guys can see, hear me. Everything is working out just fine and or correctly. Are you guys enjoying the event that's ongoing so far with the whole mining for the unknown ore or mob grinding? Whichever one you guys are choosing to do, I'm going to be doing both. Once I get done burning my energy, I'll probably jump back into history and try my luck at the compass and trying to get more of the unknown ore. My hope is to try to get lucky enough to get any of the ultimate macaloids or just anything. Killer of fucking rocks law, you are not wrong. And welcome back, man. You are not wrong. I am murdering the fuck out of these rocks, bro. The faster I do this, the uh, faster I can go out and start karma grinding again. Oh, yeah. Wolves is a perfect fucking place. Oh, yeah. Loud and clear, Nikolai. Welcome, welcome. How you doing today, man? Yeah. Or night, whatever it is for you guys. It's pretty getting... I mean, it's pretty later on in the day for me. So, I can only imagine for you guys. I do apologize about the late stream. And then it took me a little bit longer because I was murdered over there trying to exchange energy for energy tonics. Not fun. <laughs> Lost two of my crystals so far. And because I'm in negative karma, I can't restore him. So I'm going to have to spend 100 mil. And luckily, luckily 100 and 1.1. Maybe. I got to look at everything again. Very tired. Closing early. It's 3.31 a.m. Goddamn. Goddamn, goddamn. Okay, when I met, it was late for me. It was only like 6.32 over here. My bad, bro. PM. PM, I just want to point that out. Like, goddamn. <laughs> yeah. Let's try my luck. all I gotta do try to maintain my energy and hopefully get more of those or if I play my cards right my RNG is looking good for me tonight I might be able to get the Macaloid needed for my match lock I got one hey I do what I can I do what I can I torture myself so that you don't have to and if it puts you to sleep hey I'm here for you <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love a good old torture porn session before bed, right? Like, come on. If you don't, you're lying to me. You're lying to yourself. Any self-respecting MMO player can sit there and say, yes, you know what? I enjoy a little torture porn before I go to bed. Mine just happens to be mining rocks. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Routine. Yeah. Oh, I get luckier. Sure, my pets. Yeah, I'll feed you guys. Yeah. Come on. Come on. You guys ready for the update? Well, whenever the update comes out for the new sailing and bartering. I think I'm actually really, really excited for it. I'm, I'm, I'm preparing for it. Me mentally, I'm preparing for it. 
Just like having to go out there and grind for my karma. I think I can say I'm excited. From a non-sailor. What's up, Lo? Welcome back. Oh, I just want to hurry up and get up on there. Yeah, I'm just actually finishing my coffee now, Nikolai. My buff is starting to, to wear off. It's cool. That's all right. You know, we'll take a little intermission before our mob grinding to get another cup of coffee and continue going. No pressure. We're just out here trying to make some money before heading back down into Histria. Hopefully it won't take me much longer out there to finally get my compass. I don't know. I'm not going to sit there and try to jinx myself because I know I will. Hell, I already jinxed myself in, in general talking about months ago. Yeah, I'm going to be... I'm, yeah, I'm not going to be one of those players that are going to sit there spending a, a month or so in history until they finally get their compass part. And look at me now. I'm probably going to be one of those players that are going to be spending the, the whole like two, three months just trying to get their compass part. Yeah. I've, <laughs> I shouldn't have joked. Yep. <laughs> Completely jinxed myself. I dropped the ball on that. We're already getting up to our our weight limit. Oh, hot damn. Oh, uh, we're good. We got that. And that one. <laughs> Yo, what's up? How you doing today? Enjoying your week in Black Desert? Have you went out, completed your little event, family quest, and can freely open up your little ore? Your heart's content trying to go for any of those extremely valuable crystals. I was thinking about it. I was thinking, because right now, I already know people are going to start getting their crystals and droves, and I have to really consider if it's worth waiting until after the event to sell the crystals, or should we just, like, start FOMOing the fucking market and doing it like that? Like, I'm trying to consider it. Very excited for the sailing update. Your Feria Gallius is rotting on port waiting for the blue grade gear to make the character. Yo, I have two boats like that, and I'm really thinking that this is going to push me to complete both of them. So I'm excited. I'm ready. Maybe, maybe I might get the farming costume this upcoming month and I'll, I'll start enjoying farming or I'll get my fences or something. One fence. I'll probably get like one fence every, every time they announce me for the, the BDO monthly. I'll go about it like that. Start enjoying farming more. If I'm going to enjoy sailing and bartering, I might as well go out of my way to try to enjoy um, doing my, my farming now, right? Whoops, what did I do? Oh, I switched off gear. I'm like, uh, I don't know what buffs I popped. <laughs> Forgot I got those now. Oh, nope. All right, yeah. Who 
cool, cool, cool. And then I'll wait on popping you. Was there anything else that I needed? Oh, I have how many of those or do I two? Cool. You have two two of the ten crop fences during the quest. So well, I have those two, but I kind of want to go for more so I can, like I said, I can actually start to enjoy it. Like, my issue is how long it takes to actually do the farming, and I get bored. I forget about it. It's not interesting to me, so I lose my, my whole focus on it, and it, you know how it goes. So, I'm thinking maybe if I have more fences, I can plant more, and I, it'll entice me more to go out there and tend to it. Opposed to just forgetting about it because, you know, it's just not really important to me. Or like the costume, just, I don't know. Just something to motivate me to, to do farming more. Like how this update is going to make me want to go out there and sail and barter and be a Johnny Depp supporter. Like, I want farming to really tickle my balls. I want it to, to really bring something back to me again. It's just me. Made two big ships. The amount of material is up. Yeah, and I also plus end all of the green gear for both of them too. That's also, like, a lot of material cost and bartering goods and shit like that. That's why I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm really thinking about going out there and completing both of them now. Oh, I gotta hurry up and get my karma back so I can actually start turning those in. It's unbearable. I ain't right. I'm doing great, Naz. How about you? Welcome back. Welcome back. We are out here in Pilgrim's Haven doing a quick little mining session before heading back out to Histria. I have to get my karma back. I burned it all up over the weekend or over the week and i'm not exactly allowed back into town so your boy is shunned in history right now i decided to poke my head up from a little goblin cave and i'm running about if only contribution fences weren't that goddamn expensive that's why I'm going to go, and every time they mention me for the BDO monthly, I'm thinking of just buying the fences out like that. I need to start working my ass off to make more content and more guides and things so that, you know, I have a better shot at being mentioned. But I think every time I do get mentioned, I will start throwing it into the, the fences and farming because 100 contribution, 110 contribution, or whatever, that's too much. And if you are, you already have your worker empire, and you're at 425 contribution points, like me, for example, getting another 100? Uh, yeah, no. That's not exactly the best or quickest thing to do. Uh, <laughs> funny story. Funny story, I kind of, um, I'm down, I'm down, I am only at 29.9 billion out of the 51, but it's okay, Naz, it's alright, we will get back our, our other 25 missing bill and continue, the assassin is wanted on town, gotta lay low, yeah, no, I gotta go back into my little goblin cave, shit you not. I already got murked over there in Velia. Let's not do that again and lose even more crystals. Like, fortunately for me, I only lost a 100k or 100 mil crystal and a 100k crystal. Cool, great. Naz, I... Okay, so I went ahead and had to invest into a shit ton of things over the last couple of months. I bought my... First Garmy Heart, 
then bought my second Garmy heart, tapped, uh, tapped all this up. Then I decided I needed another upgrade, and what's up, Forgotten? Welcome back, man. I decided I needed to get my artifacts, so I went out and got both of my little artifacts. I mean, it's not much, but I figured I need to start doing my combat gear while I'm life scaling. And now I need to regain all of my karma back. So what better way than to head out to Histria, get my karma, be able to do the Marnie realm and run through town so I can turn in all of my seals and stop getting murdered and having all of my crystals break. That's not a fun time. Not at all. How are you tonight forgotten? Let me answer this message really fast. Ugh. That's like so dumb, messenger. Okay. There, answered her. Good cooking and processing. I am out here trying my luck at getting the ore. Hopefully, if I do good, I should be able to get another another Macaloid. Doubt it, but, you know, I've already done the once per family. Hell yeah, thank you for the follow. You are fucking amazing, Miriam. But I've already done the once per family. Now it's all about opening them up and trying like hell to get any of the good drops, which, you know, it's all about RNG. And I have to maintain my energy. I don't want to burn through it all, you know? Not yet. Well, I, I am going to be, but... I don't want to do it all in one go. I want to ride it out a little bit longer and try to get more of the unknown ore. Dun, 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 dun. The turn-in that I did was the, obviously, the ultimate Macaloid. Hence why I'm trying to get three more. It's all going to be used for my normal hunting spec. Right here, I'm going to remove these and slowly replace them with the ultimate. And I don't want to buy them. Let's be real. If you can go out and craft it up yourself and or just get it for free... Premium is better than the premium. Come on, we all know that. But that's what I'll be doing, trying to trying to do that. And once I get that done, I can eventually... Yeah. I can eventually get... Where is it? My combat one sorted out. Replace both of them with the ultimate. It should let me. Macaloid, yeah. Ultimate Gervish. Yeah, because it'll be the ultimate Macaloid, so it'll let me do that. Going to make some Manos Alchemy. Oh, nice. How many are you planning on making? Twenty? You're really trying for that pen, aren't you? I might have no luck. Or are you just trying to sell them off? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I have no luck this week at all. And I keep trying, and I'm trying, and I don't... Yeah. Never get it. Never, ever, never not. Yeah. Gotta keep an eye on it. We don't want to hit zero just yet. But we also need to maintain our weight. We're weight watching. You have all the goodies laying around your storage? Yeah, I... I need to start hoarding shit. I think that's what I really need to, need to do. Except Men of Stone, but that's fine. That's fine. If you want to really be a cheapskate with it, you can easily head out there and do sea monster hunting and get it like that. You know, and bartering and shit. And they're only five mil. But everything else, like, I really need to start hoarding that shit. 
I keep telling myself, okay, this week is going to be the week that I go and start tapping up my manos, and every week I put the money and the, the tries into everything else. Yeah, I normally just resort on buying the mana stone. Maybe it, once after they change the uh, bartering sailing, I will probably go out there and do more monster hunting and probably get more of the mana stones that way. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. What was I going to do? Oh, I was going to check something really fast. 535, but how many do we have over here? I'm trying to consider something really quick. I'm trying to consider something. I know I'm going to be playing around with this and someone's going to murder me. Oh. You're like, oh, you need to die as I'm playing around with shit. Also finished your second guarantee. Lucky you. 4%. I'm debating. I'm really debating over here. That would be nice. That would be really, really nice. Uh, but I know I'm going to fail it. Let's see if I have enough. Yep, that does count. Doesn't matter how you got it, as long as you got it, correct? We'll try our luck. We're gonna try it out. I doubt it's gonna do anything, but... You never know. You can get lucky once, right? Here goes nothing. Let's try our luck. 4.5% chance. Yeah. You never know. Every so often you can surprise yourself. Oh my god. It actually went. And then most times you're sitting there wondering why the fuck do you even bother still tapping when you know damn well. Oh, we can't be here. We cannot be here. We are not going to be here. <laughs> we are going to try to switch off channels and hopefully not get into one where there is someone over here because they will murk my ass. I will die. If they will murk me when I am off minding my own business, damn straight they will fucking fillet me for playing with pebbles like, uh-uh. Nope, let's try not to do that. Come on, get lucky. I know everyone's going to be out here mining and all. I'm just hoping it's not going to be the worst possible thing I could ever do. I don't see anyone. We're going to call it a success. Put down our little shit, repair, and collect. Nope. We got to go. Oh, crikey. I hate having negative karma. I hate having negative karma. I'm just gonna find a portal and... Go from there, I guess. Let's try to reduce all of this material down. God damn. That was not right. I knew that was going to happen. I'm like, okay, it looks great. I don't see a tent out here. And I'm like, wait. Okay. I don't see a tent out here. 
I think that's a problem. Sure enough, it was. It was a huge issue. Okay, we got four left. No more left. Mm. Okay, we're at 30 bill. How much is 9k rough stone gonna make me? 227.6k or mil. Yeah, that'll do. Let's look at our platinum. 42.3 mil. Gold. 10.4. Silver is looking at 32.7. Caphras, we only got nine of them. 24. The hards will make us 72.5, but I'm not doing anything with that at all. And those aren't going to make me a lot of money. Okay. Oh, I do, Michael. Oh, I do. Believe you me. Best believe. I do save stone for my, my tools right now. Let me check. Land of the Morning Light. Yeah, I think my... I need more plywood for it. Well, the timber square, but... Yeah, I do have it. I also have the stack of the polished stone here for my tools, too. Yeah, don't you worry. Don't you worry. I already thought ahead. I'm like, before I start selling any materials and things, let me make sure I have the stack that, one, I'm using, you know, currently readily available... And then I want to have a stack so that just in case I want to do anything else with it, I can do that. Yep, nope, they're the one. These guys right here are the ones that... Oh man, they, they don't like me. They're the ones that I murdered and burned my karma up completely. The whole reason why I'm out here stuck hiding around from other players trying to make sure that no one tries to, to murder me. Fun fact. Alright, I'm looking for a teleport portal. Oops. Yeah, I'm looking for a teleport portal that has a yellow ring around it. Uh, no, forgotten. No, because I did that, I I lost crystal so far. No, it's okay. I got to make back all of my 181k karma. Negative k karma. Negative, okay? I started out at negative 339k. You really think I want... Yeah, no. Do you really think I want to keep my karma this low when I'm losing crystals like that? See, look, like... It was horrible. I cried like a whole ass bitch. Yeah, you cannot recover them. <laughs> I didn't want to be an outlaw. I didn't ask for this life. This life chose me. I have not found a teleport. Nothing still? God damn. Guess we're doing this the old-fashioned way. I say the old-fashioned way like they didn't just introduce the whole entrance system shit. Uh, but hey, it's okay. We'll go right down. Why not?
Let me help my dog up. <laughs> All right. Uh, where am I? Almost. I had to double check. I didn't want to jump down any random uh, crev uh, crevices and shit like that. Down we go. Oh, shit. Oh, you good. I don't want to get killed already. I'm just getting here. <laughs> I'm just getting here. Like, don't murder me, man. Simplified pen boss gear materials. Hoopla. Don't care. So far, so good. Make sure we are properly geared. Okay. Yeah, that's that. Oh, I'm gonna have to murder you if I wanna at least equip my my crystal preset. Hopefully I don't get murdered. Please no one kill me. That would fucking suck. It really would. Yeah, we'll do that. Can I do... Come on. God damn it. What about here? Can I put it here? Just want a place to put my tent. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Back to our rotation. I still have to buff up. But at least we're here. Now. We'll pop that. Let's try to get our tent out. Go, Villa Buff. I found what? Four ore while I was out there mining. We're gonna find out if mob grinding will get me more. I'm not sure which one will, but. Oops. Already fucked up. But we'll find out, right? One way or another. All right, so far we're pretty much good. I can I can live with it. I really just have to get my karma back.
Like, I really need my karma back. Loyalty. Your repentance. And there, that should help out with all of that. Come on. Yeah. It's like 30 to 100 karma restored with each little mob. Minimum. Ruined my goddamn cooldown. Okay, buff up. Go oh, finally. I have to keep an eye on my mini map. I don't want to get murked. <laughs> This be the day. I want my compass part. On, pop up. I have one. I have the Vodkin part, which is why I'm still out here trying and only killing the Belton and the Elton. Yeah, that'll be the last on the agenda. At least that's the plan. Overkill for no reason. I don't know how my RNG is so far today. To be honest with you guys, I... I haven't really, really compared it. And I really don't count trying to tap up my Manos pickaxe either. That was kind of a... We already knew it was going to fail. 4.5%. Like, that was really going to do anything. I'm stuck. No more stamina. Ugh. Out the way, Botkin. Managed to make already. Now you have two female dream, no male on the market. Mistakes were made. Oh, two. Yeah, um, males are extremely rare. Like, male dines are extremely rare to come across on the market. Ten butcher, not. Oh, man. <laughs> Lucky you, Michael. Man. Look at me. I'm over here trying to get my pickaxe, and you're like, oh, yeah. Just tapped it. Boom. <laughs> Congrats, bro. Congrats. You deserve it. And it was the butcher. 
the butcher is always the the best one to go for first i feel like it's the, the best one to go for because it's used for hunting and you can make a lot of money on just meat alone Are you going to go for any of the T10 attempts at least once in your life? If you're going to go for an, at least one T10, I suggest looking at a male dine. I'm on a toss up between the fluid collector and the pickaxe because I'm always out there in Pilgrim's Haven doing my mining. But I'm also going for the whole sapping and flu the uh, blood collecting so i'm like okay they're both pretty useful Chippity! or Chippity? Chippity? I, don't, I don't i can't pronounce that you know me i mean i'm american our english fucking sucks okay i was gonna make a male it's gonna be a male anyway dine is gonna be better man yeah the male dines are extremely rare to come by on the central market not the central market the horse market Oh, forgotten. Just try to be careful. You know those manos hoes are not loyal. What's up, Alec? How you doing today? Pretty late for you, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, that's my time. Okay, I was about to say, like, already... One eleven a.m. <laughs> as long as I keep them well paid. <laughs> Look at Cotton. Yeah, we're out here trying to farm back my karma. Alec, I kind of burned it all up going and murdering those wandering merchants out there in the desert. Something told me it was going to be a great idea, and in all actuality, it turned out not to be a great idea, so I am paying for my mistake. Bro, I tell you, when I started murdering them, my karma just instantly started dropping. I shit you not. It was like dominoes, a, a fucking tree and a, a Christmas tree and a fire, bro. One dropped, and it was my karma just boom, 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 boom. My watch to hit negative, and it didn't stop going until I hit negative 339k never again i learned my lessons i learned from my mistakes i don't think i will ever turn to being a ruthless psychopathic butcher out here in the desert again all right i i lived that fantasy if i ever wanted to be a, a fucking hardened criminal it cost me two crystals so far it's all right you ever seen Oh, what is that? Um, Scared Straight? That's me. I went through the Scared Straight program. I am scared, and I am going straight over here to grind that karma. I got murdered in Velia trying to exchange my energy tonics. It gives you an idea on why I'm out here, and I'm not complaining about the grinding... I will welcome it. I will sit here and I will be like, come here, mob grinding. I will give you a, a hug. Like, just, just give me back my karma. I'm tired of being a criminal. I don't want to be on the run. Yeah, I'm starring on an episode of... Uh, I almost got away with it. I just popped mine. I'm stuck in a corner. Yeah, you know, normally I would be bitching, complaining, griping about having to 
killed monsters like a fucking caveman, you know, shy beat monster. But nah. After getting murdered and losing my crystals, I am willingly, like, coming out here open arms, like, fuck that. It got to the point where I was out there mining and... I went to the wrong channel and I happened to see a player on the fucking minimap and I said, fuck it, nope, we are going out there to grind. PTSD. Come on! People drop something for me. Give me something good. Ah. Damn. Okay, okay. There we go. We got one. Ooh, uh. A grave robber. Why even give me those? Oh, you want to see my gear? Uh, it's just uh what i'm wearing nothing too fancy i'm pretty much a a new grinder to be to be real with you a casual grinder i'm not a min maxer i don't care about efficiency i'm not trying to go for any of that i'm i life skill that's what i do i hug trees i bake bread i play with the fishes and i like to stick my toes in the the dirt i'm out here because i need my karma back I forgot to show you my crystal preset, too. Hold on, give me one second. That's my crystal preset, what I'm using. Yeah, what I'm usually wearing is this really fast. That's normally what I wear. But I'm out here trying to reclaim all of my karma because I blew it all up. I'm a criminal. I'm a criminal! Yeah, my crystals aren't, aren't really that great, to be real with you. Blowed it up real good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a casual. I'm a filthy fucking casual, and I love it. You get one for doing the quest from Dalashian or Liana, whichever one it uh, gives it out. And then the other one comes from the season tokens. By turning in a hundred of them, you should be able to get your second Flamoros. I would jump in on the season character to, to show you, but I don't want to die again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Just to show you a demonstration. It's already happened. Yeah, you can only get two. And I don't want to lose any more crystals from the demonstration. So... Just try to remember Dalashian and the season tokens that you get for 100. Go check the Dalashian or Liana, whichever one offers it, because you get the suggested hide. Oh, is it going to be in here? I don't think it will be. Maybe not. Apparently, it's not going to be in here. I thought it was on the season, but... Is that the bonus bonus business thing? What bonus for... Biz what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was for one season seal and one from Liana. There you go, from handing in the 300 byproducts. I could not remember the exact specifics for it. I just remember I could not do the second Flamoros on my Iron Man challenge because I could not do the actual combat portion. This is History of Runes out here in the desert. I'm over here. Yeah, we're talking about the Flamoros. Come on, come on. We need more karma back. But we don't need Vodkins. We can avoid them. Stuck on a rock. Of course, I'm the shy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Give me my compass, I beg of thee. Black Spirit, you're such a bitch. Where's my luck? Where is my luck? My streamer bo bonuses. I should probably pop that. Thinking, are there any other buffs that I... Think I... Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Yep. Trying to check, trying to make sure. That's all I got. It'll do. I don't even know, to be honest with you. I'm just here for the compass treasure part. I can care less on the money that I can make out here or any of the uh, necklace or I want to say the earring. Show you what exactly I'm going for. That's all I'm going for. There are two here. There's, well, this one's Achman. But there's one here in Achman, and then there are two over here in Histria. That's what I'm mainly going for. Everything else, I don't really care for. Yeah, it makes some decent amount of money. You know, selling the scrolls, uh, the trash can make 20.3k per one. And it's just, I'm here for the compass. I can't even lie to you. <laughs> Damn, Black Shrine bosses, the rewards are now disabled on Friday. Yeah, better than Cracktuga, because the trash loot, Tungrad necklace, and still an aggro spot. Okay, interesting. Good to know. Like I said, I don't do mob grinding. I'm a casual player. I'm a casual life skilling player. I'm a lifer, man. Doing mob grinding is completely unheard of. And if I didn't need my karma back, I would probably not come back here to do the compass part as quickly as I've been out here or as religiously as I've been out here. Uh, you're still very new on like 260 energy and 350 contribution. Do your cooking for your contribution points and your knowledge tabs, especially your ecology and your knowledge tab for your energy, okay? Those are the quickest ways to increase your energy and your contribution without having to, to do all that extra shit. Ecology and cooking. 
You're gonna cook for your byproducts, turn the byproducts in for the exper the cooking experience and the contribution experience. It's mainly the cooking contribution that you're you're looking for, okay? That's all. The the contribution that you can get from the cooking. That's all. The experience is lackluster to say the least. Yahtzee. Knew you are going to stun me. I made mine. I crafted mine up and then I tapped all of mine. Oh, grave robber, grave robber. Give me your trash loot, Grave Robber. Always trash. Yeah, like I was saying, I tapped all of my gear. I crafted all of my gear up. I did not want to buy it. Buying it can get extremely expensive. I mean, it's going to be a lot easier for you to do it. Just buy all of your gear. But for me, I crafted mine up. Hitting H if you're playing on the computer. That's the best way to track your ecology. If you're trying to trying to find it, like trying to find a certain little area, I would have to just just Google it. I really don't know of a website or anything, a current one. At least not off the top of my head. If anyone knows a good website to track ecology when you're grinding it or whatever, uh, could you guys like post it up in the, the chat or whatever? If you're playing on PC, if you hit H, it opens up your knowledge. In your knowledge, you can go through all of that. BDO codex. You know, I never really bothered with BDO codex. What up? What's up, Kurt? Yeah, I never really thought about that one. Huh. Interesting, yeah. Okay. As a light skiller, so he does the opposite to the grinder spy combat gear and he makes his own light skilling stuff. Yeah, exactly. I do exa the exact opposite of a mob grinder, bro. I, I really do. I never really thought about it like that. I use my life skilling to buy all of my combat gear and then I use my, my combat to help out my life skilling. <laughs> I don't really, I, I don't go for the money. I mean, I probably should. I really probably should, but I really don't. I kind of like doing the life skilling and challenging myself and seeing if I can make the, the money. And so far, with how my, my gear is and my worker empire, if I'm life skilling, I can make a billion a day. You know what I say. A billion a day will keep the poverty away. I was reading a comment earlier on one of my, my YouTube videos about how EU can make X amount of money per hour doing alchemy and how it's a really good amount of money. And I'm slowly thinking to myself, I'm like, but here on NA, the prices are like, or the uh, value is higher. So I feel bad for you. <laughs> Now, before you try tapping any of your Menace gear, I do highly suggest you make your Logia gear first. You play, you have your Logia gear so that you can play with your Menace. If you can get your Tet Logia, or, your, or not your Tet Logia, your Pen Logia, 
The close is a step above your try manas, but right below your tet manas, okay? So even if you don't get your tet, your pen is still better than your, your manas. Just don't try to tap up the, the one piece of gear that you're using and, and break it with no type of repair or um, uh, um, replacement. Every time I go down my worker empire, I get trolled real bad for not having the the exact nodes that everyone else has. Uh, now I do have it in my library, Israel. Like I, it is. If you check around, I have a couple videos and live streams on um, going through my worker empire and which nodes I have, the factories, the workers, and shit like that. Okay, my karma is slowly raising up a little bit higher. Oh, BDolytics has a knowledge tracker too? Fuck yeah. Okay, then yeah, play around with your manas. I personally, I find it enjoyable, especially if you're, you're sitting there trying to tap, 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 and you finally get that one tap. The one tet that you've really been looking forward to? Oh. Believe me, I do... Do a lot more. Hold on, where is uh Great Ocean? No, not Great Ocean. Altanova. Like, I... I do try. I'm just extremely casual, and I prefer to go out sniper hunt for all of my tapping materials and do it myself i don't like to buy any of it especially with not especially with how the prices are looking no not doing it just hit 425 contribution trying to decide if you wanted to push more go for it bro i'm doing it i am 63.59 percent into getting another contribution point with a current stack of 400 and or 706 of which is delicacy 217 i'm gonna use a fairy breath for making the sharps and hards mainly the hards and 3670 of the mysterious catalyst like, i'm gonna push for it i feel as though throwing in more contribution into my worker empire can really get more back Especially when if you hit 500. And let's be real. Everyone has a, a burning question if you can get all of the nodes. What better way than to find out? Throw money into the storage, the worker lodging and shit like that to ease the contribution cost or uh, requirement for all of the nodes. We'll find out. We'll keep going. Just throwing more into the, the lodging and shit. Yeah. Yep. Oh, believe me. Believe me, I know. Where is it? Let's see. Failed, failed. Tet Menos close. Try Menos close. Oh, yeah. Tet Menos ring right here. Failure. Oh, oh, you were you were talking about the clothes. My bad. My bad. I, I thought you were talking about the accessories. Shit. Yeah, I, I failed a, a tet tap yesterday. Just another day of man of sapping, am I right? Hell yeah, thank you for the follow. You are fucking amazing, Chrono. I well forgotten. I guess we're gonna have to find out. We're gonna have to put that to the test, right? 
How are you today? We're out here in history going for the compass and the unknown or all the events ongoing trying our luck if you aren't aware we can try to get the lightstone of fire strike dervish macalod whom the ultimate versions the valetera spirit crystal awakened spirit crystal and the black spirit crystal all from opening these and or turning in the quest so i've already turned in my once uh the one per family quest now it's on to opening them and trying to see if i can get any of those great fucking crystals you're going for the master one fishing for the last xbox achievement hell yeah i'm just trying to go for this compass gotta gotta finally get the last part so we can move on to Achman. and get my karma back definitely get my karma back i hate being a criminal Where are you fishing at? <laughs> okay, not bad. So, Kurt, I was wandering the desert, and a little birdie told me see those wandering merchants over there those nice kind gentlemen that are just walking through the, the desert minding their own business and they have a family of their own what if you kill them what if you murder all of them and not bat an eye and i told myself you know i really shouldn't do it i really shouldn't do it there's something something not right about murdering all of them but that little birdie that little birdie i'll tell you he is very convincing, and one thing led to another. My flow rang went out, and all these merchants started dying, and I became a criminal. So, learn from me. Don't do it. Best AFK fishing spot, I personally... You can either do Aqua's Eye. You can do Waves Rest out there in... What is it? Uh, Papua Crene? Or uh, Tooth Fairy Cabin? Yeah, so I learned my lesson, and now we are not going out there murdering any innocent little merchants anymore. I murdered a FedEx caravan. We're not going to do it again. It has set me back probably 5k loyalty and two crystals so far. Okay, so a couple of areas that you can go out there and fish, I will show you here on the map in general. Like, just, I will show you the map. Okay, so one of the best places I like to go out is over here. I like to fish over in the center. Get the pebble for the donkey costume, or you can get the Tear the Great Ocean for your Carrick. You can fish over here in Aqualus Eye, another little safe area which gives you a good amount of fish or the valuable fish shit like that or the tier of the ocean see another spot that you can do afk fishing at is if you like the prized fish over there in velia the blue bat starfish or the yellow corvina a great spot is over right here if you fish right there dead center you have a 30% drop rate on, or a 30% catch rate on both the blue bat and the yellow corvina. You're just looking for fast experience. The fastest bite rate that you can get is going to be over here in Margoria. You can come over to the Ross Sea if you're sailing just about over here once your map starts fading out into fog. It has the highest bite rate in the in all of the game, so there you go. Coupled with your AFK fishing, it'll just be bite, catch, bite, catch, bite, catch. You'll mainly have to worry about your durability and your inventory space at that point.
Make love, not war. I told that to my little birdie. My little birdie was like, you know what? We got that achievement on World of Warcraft once. It wasn't that glorifying. Murder them. And I said, okay, Kermit wearing the robes. Oh, uh, get a marvelous. You don't need the marvelous. Kurt, if you look at the auto fishing time, well, for, firstly, auto fishing is capped at, what is it, like 65%. You can easily get that 65% using your auto or your AFK fishing lightstone and artifact combination and the the Balanos fishing rod with your blue grade Krios fishing chair. You don't have to use the Balanos the or bar, uh, Marvelous Balax. The Marvelous Balax comes in handy when you are say using a combination like the where is it? Sharp-Eyed Seagull, where it doesn't include the AFK Fishing Time and the Madeira Rod. You know, you can throw on the Balix and the Blue Grade Fishing Chair to increase your AFK Fishing Time while still using the Madeira Rod and, uh, what is it called? Your other Lightstone Combinations. Fun little fact. Just thought I'd help you out there why i don't bother with my afk fishing anymore and there's also pets yeah exactly the the pet your creos fishing chair and your lightstone combination will give you the max auto fishing time that you can get for your afk you don't have to use the balix balix only comes in handy when you're trying to do any of the other type of fishing like your um your rare fish or going for the big fish No, no, I keep them. I use them when I am... For me. Okay. So, perfect example. The Balak's lunchbox comes in handy if you are trying to go for, say, your red grade fish, AFK, out there in Margoria. If you're trying to go for your rare fish, your yellow grade fish, you're trying to go for the money out there in Margoria, your Balak's is the, the best option with using your Medea rod, your Califion rod, and your blue grade Krios fishing chair. Just so that you don't have to rely on the Balanos fishing rod. That way you can still do your fastest AFK fishing and still get that added little bonus on top. See everyone? That's exactly why I don't do my AFK fishing out there in Belly or anything like that. Like I, I prefer to have a different combination and and shit set up so that I don't have to worry about it. I can play around with it, you know. That's why I'm a casual. I don't have to rely solely on you. Better fucking AFK here and solely here if you want to be the best. But no, it's all right. I'm going for the mystical fish. And when I'm a when I am AFK fishing out there, Margoria, I usually make at least 425 to 450 mil per night. On just the fish alone. And if you guys are like curious on that, I'm pretty sure I have a screenshot or two on my community tab over on YouTube. Yeah, I don't fish out there in Velia. I'm gonna have to just for the mystical fish, but normally no, I refuse to fish over there in any of the event hotspots. It's all right. I got more, um, better ideas.
Like, I know you guys are tired of seeing it and all, but the real reason why I don't like doing my AFK fishing or any of that dumb shit is because I like going for items like my Ghost Whale or... You know, the giant black squid, shit like that. I hate being AFK, I hate it, I can't stand it. Come on, get swifty. Unknown ore, woohoo! Discarded glass bottles work too. For what, Chrono? For contribution? Oh god, no. No, I save all of my glass bottles for the Creos fishing chair or the keys to use while I'm out there gathering or selling. The, contra the uh, experience that you get for the glass bottles once you hit Artie is not worth it comparable to like anything else. Nah, it's... Don't bother. Really don't bother, bro. If you go out there in the Ross Sea or Margoria, anything like that, and just AFK fish, it has the fastest bite and the fastest reel if you have your auto fishing time set up to the, the max. You're looking at a minute and 30 seconds minimum to be fishing out there in Margoria from the fish bit my, my fucking rod to me pulling the fish in and recasting a total of a minute and 30 30 something seconds i may not be a min maxer or anything like that but i'm pretty sure you guys get an idea of how many fish you can catch within an hour at a minute and 30 something seconds each out there in margoria just saying You can go anywhere, anywhere out in Morgoria. When I mean anywhere out in Morgoria, I'm talking from this point all the way all of Morgoria. Once your minimap goes into the little fogginess, boom, you're there. You don't have to go any further. Simple as that, you don't have to do anything extra, and you can AFK fish all night and capitalize on all of that experience. Come on, bro. Work smarter, not harder. I'm just a casual. Go into your loyalty if you look scroll down and you should find the etheria cog the etheria cog is going to be your best item to be or the best boat to be using for your fishing until you get the carrick and even then i still use my carrick for your loyalty loyalty points are free loyalty is rewarded to you every day when you log in you get 200 loyalty points every single day that you log in Anyway, like I was saying, you go ahead, get your your cog, and boom. You don't have to worry about it. You can even use that shit when the durability is down. You are not going to be going anywhere where there are sea monsters that can actually kill you, kill you. Like, legit. If you're, you're over here, all right, you're over here in a area. If you come to maybe starts at this point here, these monsters won't attack your cog. They will chill out, they will sit there, they will watch. You can park your boat right on the fucking top of one of those things and they will not try to smack you. Okay? It's only until you start getting further out 
into the actual Margoria deep tables and shit like that, that the uh, sea monsters will start to attack you. But over here, you're good to go. You don't need a fancy boat. You don't need uh, the best in slot. None of that. A loyalty boat <laughs> without any type of fucking durability will go a long way. I mean, look, I have one over here. I have maybe how much durability left? Uh, I can't even tell. Probably like 50 durability left. You can go out there at level 49. And what do you mean, safe spot? I just said none of the monsters out there will attack you. If you're talking about other players, you can go out there at level 49. Go out there at level 49. Plain and simple. The same way that you protect yourself on land and all that dumb shit, go out there on level 49. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. You got everything that you need to set yourself up for success, okay? Oh, and Chrono. Don't try to be so uh, paranoid about PvP, okay? Don't try to be so paranoid. Don't think that if you're out there in the ocean, you are automatically going to be hunted down by another player. A lot of a lot of players will never, ever, ever see any of that stupid PvP shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. Every so often, you'll you'll encounter it, but. I don't know. How many hours do you guys think I stream and we go through any type of PvP content? Because I don't... I'm level 62. I don't do anything on a lower level tune to prevent the shit. You know, out of all these hours of streaming, running around with the content creator title on just to really get people wanting to kill me. And we've only dealt with probably one and that was an Arsha. So, again, don't be so paranoid about it. You could do a lot in this game without ever experiencing another player. Yeah. Or BDO Navy. Yeah, it's usually the content creators that you that will get stream sniped and shit like that which is why i have my stream set up the way i do so no one can see my little mini map my location and and shit like that my channel name but as a regular player when you are not on twitch you are not on youtube or anything of the such you will rarely ever encounter one another player out there in the wild and two another player that's trying to murder you just for the the lols yeah, you can also build cogs over there in Avaria, too. Yeah, you will rarely ever encounter people that will just murder you to murder you. They drop the incentive to go out there and do it, so a lot of people don't even bother with it. And even with that, before all those changes, again, I rarely ever encountered anything i think every so often every every like maybe year to year and a half i would encounter another player trying to go all pvp and whoop my ass on a normal server i'm not talking about arsha was transporting trade goods on your horse got attacked and dude respawned eight times attacked my horse to kill it and only so much I can do against endless tier use. <laughs> so yeah, just try not to be so so paranoid. Be cautious. Don't go out there all like expecting nothing to happen. Just you know, be cautious. But you don't have to be so paranoid.
Enjoy the game, man. Enjoy it. It's not like EVE Online. In EVE Online, if you go out in low sec or no sec, no. You should be scared. You should be worried. Here, it's not so much. You don't have to worry so much about it. At least on NA. I don't know how EU is, and I don't know how MENA is. We're console. I forgot. I have to add that in here, too. Oh, they broke it. That's a thing? Wait, what region does that? Damn. Yo, that has to suck. I don't think I've ever gotten ganked at any boss yet. Or had anyone read or anything. Damn it. Yeah, I started on Calpheon 2. I started on Calpheon 2 until my guild died and changed channels and then went to a different channel. We used to have pirates over here. Now, I don't think we have any more. I just jump from channel to channel. Again, everyone's all paranoid about being PvP'd and murdered and all this dumb shit. And I'm over here running around and in the deep, darkest wilds and all this good shit. <laughs> it's only until I ran into Velia with my negative karma did I get PvP'd. How long would I have to hit Master 1 fishing if you're Artisan 8? It all depends on where you're fishing. It all depends on your buffs. Depends on the... The, uh, um... Abundance of the fish. There's a lot that goes into it. You have to look at your account and judge by that. Like, all the bonuses that you have put in. Because I can tell you, it would take you, say, say, a month of AFK fishing to go and, and hit Master or, or a Guru or blah, blah, blah. But then you'll start to realize that that's going by the amount of experience that I have or it's going by fishing over in one area when another area is faster or another area because the events have a lot more people and the abundance and blah blah, blah. there's a lot of variables that go into it you should probably look at how much experience you can get when you're out there fishing the areas that you're fishing in the abundance and all of that good shit okay I can easily tell you for me, it'll probably take me two weeks to hit master fishing from nothing. Hell yeah, thank you for the subby over there on YouTube. You are amazing, Raf. You know, but that's putting in all of your experience and fishing over there in Margoria, blah, blah, blah. So many variables that go into it, okay? Try to remember that. Also, some gankers like to hit people around the road. Well, yeah, that's normal. Now it's normal, and even then, I don't think anyone's really doing that anymore. Hell yeah, you are fucking amazing, Iko. They're on Twitch. Ah! Get it, get it. Ah, uh, compass part, but not the yellow compass. Damn. World bosses, but with karma update, it's kind of rare now. 
that's exactly what I mean. Like, don't be so paranoid about fishing out there, Margoria, just because of how rare it is to be ganked anymore. People don't want to have to deal with that whole karma recovery over just one person with the uh, karma update. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick little, little break. I need to use the bathroom, and then we're going to continue our history of grind. Let me see how much longer I have for maybe an hour more, okay? Give me, give me like a couple minutes. Let me murder these guys so I don't die in the process, but let me use the bathroom, and we will jump back into it. All right, that should be good. Yeah, I'm stuck in a rock now, but there we go. Cool. Be right back, everyone. Uh oh. They had food, those fucking lazy assholes. Like, just God, they act like I I care about them and their families and how they need to eat. Like, oh, woe is me. I'm making you your boots and your your Nikes and blah blah blah. I need food. Fuck my workers. But my workers can make me a billion every fucking day. I should only feed them beer. To be honest with you guys, I should only feed them beer so they don't ever have to sit there and eat again. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Work for me, workers. Work for me. All right. I got to go use the bathroom. I'll be right back. All right. Be right back. Right, came back to my ass getting whooped. Okay. Let's get back into the shall we? They'd be too drunk to work. Oh well. Next time they won't ask for payment.
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let this be the night. Let this finally be the night. End my cruel, cruel suffering in this place so I can move on to the next little carbon copy repeat. Come on, go down. Move on. <laughs> okay, that's done. <laughs> Ow. Whoop, wrong button. I'm trying to get into my fucking buff. There we go. Yeah, eat stars, bitches. Eat stars. What you got? Keep moving on. I have faith in myself. I can do it. Oh, but I did get an earring, which means I have to tap that up. I think I can tap it up. Kill you first. Okay, I can tap that one up. Oh, wait, let's move this over. Told you guys I'm going to try to tap up everything I find. Everything I find. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. All right. Foreshadowing. You'd have to go all the way back to port, Chrono. The only downside. The only downside, but if you're having to deal with the repair, do you have any maids? And how many how many maids do you have? Because depending on how many maids you have depends on if you can easily bypass having to go back into port. None. Okay, um... So you'd have to wait for an event to get a free maid. But in the meantime, your best option... Okay, so Chrono. Your best option is to go over to the Land of the Morning Light. And if you're fishing over down here, you can easily get into Margoria and you can repair over here. Okay? Bam. Uh, free to play player, Kurt. No money into the pearls, absolutely like free items, okay? So going by that, trying to reduce the the need for any pearl items and shit like that that you have to go out and buy unless it's during an event and right now we don't have an event for the brandstones. Unless 
unless the family fame quest if you look over at the um suggested quest tab in your quest log there should be the family fame fishing quest line that you can do and it should give you two weapon brand stones one for your rod and one for a lore which i suggest doing the maple lore the maple lore and the balanos rod those are going to be the first two that you brand How many seals is that? That'll be one maid. 20 seals for one maid. Yeah, doing the maid option would be to jump onto an alt. Okay, well, first take off your rod and your lore when you need it repaired. Jump onto an alt, have your maids Take the, the lore and the fishing rod, repair it up on the alt, and then send it back onto your alt using two more maids, or grab it from your your other character using the two more maids. That's only if you have the maids for it. But if you go out to the land of the morning light, and like I said, out here to the land of the morning light, and you sail down, you don't have to go that far. Your closest NPC would be over see both of them one wharf here one wharf there and you can still get the abundant fishing the quickest bite rate and the highest valued fish in the game so not only are you getting the experience for doing all your fishing but you can also get the yellow grade fish and make money you'd have to unlock it with the storyline or you can go from port Aferia because you don't i guess you don't have the well unlocked for it so if you go from a feria it's one straight run see one straight run pretty simple you can sail there you can swim there you can take a ferry there Once you unlock your teleporting, it's like the storyline you have to do. But once you unlock the well, you can teleport to the land of the morning light and to anywhere else. Yeah. From Velia, same thing. From Velia, it'd be the same thing. If you're out there, see the pirate, take that and one straight run. Same thing. See? Pirate. If you're looking, straight run. You can literally ride the cur the uh, coast here and diagonal. Best way to do it if you don't have a map, if you're brand new to the game and you still need to navigate and shit like that. I played too long without having a compass. Now I need to do better. <laughs> I need to suck it up. Come on, come on, go down. Go down quicker, you old son of a bitch. Oh, stamina. I'm like, why the fuck am I running slow? Yeah, you should be able to. Nikolai, um, they don't have the, the well. Chrono doesn't have the teleporting yet. Like a brand new, brand new player. That's why I'm giving all the options. Every single little option that I can possibly give you.
At least I have a rowboat faster than Raph. Don't bother, bro. Don't do it. Get your loyalty, Aferia sailboat, uh, or not sailboat. Get your Aferia cog and just do it like that. Don't, don't do it. Don't torture yourself like there's torture and then there's like sailing suicide and that sailing su like don't, don't do it don't do it man <laughs> it is not worth it it is not worth it to fish on a, a fucking rowboat yeah hitch a ride with the guild mate if any of your guildies or anyone is willing to party up with you that has the telescope they should be able to teleport you Yeah, some things in the game is just not worth it. Like a sailboat and trying to fish. Or not a sailboat, a, a rowboat and trying to fish. Thinking that you're going to get any of those fishing boats and be a, a good good fishing player. You know, it's, some things in the game is not worth doing. <laughs> like fishing is better done on a cog. Listen, listen, at that point, you're too slow to even get out there for the sea monsters at that point. Like, nah, fuck that. You haven't even made it to the, the fucking sea monsters before you gave up. I'm gonna be real with you. Yes, best choice. Unless you have a Carrick... Or probably a blue grade caravel or, or obviously the glass. Your your cog is going to be the fastest at a plus hundred forty one percent speed. Right now, with my sailing mastery, my level, all of that dumb shit, my gear, my glass is pushing 132% speed. At plus 10 green, full plus 10 green grade gear. So yeah, it's completely up to you guys. Either you can do the sailboat, the caravel, the glass, the cog. Just know the cog has the plus 141% speed unbuffed. I don't think there's any buffs that we can use for the cog, but for being unbuffed, I can I can't replace it with anything else. Not until I get a character. And even then, it's still, I wouldn't even go out there and use the Carrick because I like to do the harpoon fishing, and the harpoon fishing can only be done on the cog. The only downside. Until they decide to make us a boat or anything like that. A real fucking boat. I'm stunned. <laughs> Same rules apply. Same shit, different boat. And you really can't compare a lower-end boat to one of the best-in-slot boats in the game. It's not fair. I feel like that's a PvP boat. I don't know. It's 
does not sit well with me. Like, the pano, like, what is the pano really used for? Remember when you got your first Bartali sailboat and tried sailing into the land of the morning light with no compass and got sailor sick because no rations and got sunk by a sea monster? Ouch, bad luck all around. I've done the fishing to port rat in a fishing boat. I've done that. Yeah, I've only done this when Land of the Morning Light was not even a, a brief little whisper. Back when Port Rat was still a thing. At least you don't drown anymore. Oh my god. Yo, I remember getting stuck out there near Port Rat. I'm like, I want to say like smack dab maybe near where the ghost whale area was and i'll just show you on the map it was like worst fucking time i got stuck over here back when port rat was still i think port rat used to be right there fuck that time Hated it. I had to swim all the way back. <laughs> leave me be, leave me be. Don't need vodka. Three minutes, we're about to hit two hours, and then we'll find out how much we have made out here or collected out here. This where I got, yeah, I got two of those ores. I can safely say that mining gets you a lot more of the mysterious ore or the unknown ore, whatever the fuck it wants to be called, than actual mob grinding. Yeah, after doing maybe, what, 30 minutes, maybe 20 minutes at the most, 30 minutes of mining out there in Pilgrim's Haven, I was able to get eight of the Unknown Ore when coming out here, I've only gotten the four for the hour and a half. Like I said yesterday, it may ju it might just be my RNG. I could have bad luck or something like that, but for me, I just feel like mining is a better option for getting the event ore than going out and mob grinding. And unfortunately, I have no other choice than to come out here and mob grind. But that's that's my fault. We're not doing too bad on the karma game. I'll have to pop another one of those scrolls later while I'm grinding. Yeah, that's what I said. I think it's all about RNG level. Like, I wish I could go ahead and increase it or anything. They may have... Okay, so you got it for what? Mining or mob grinding? Oh, when you're grinding? Okay, so yeah, it wouldn't wouldn't shock me. I mean, first day I got 12 for four hours, so... I don't know. It's, I'm going by just my own personal luck. I know I do bad when I'm out here grinding. I don't have the luck like that, but... 
I don't know, my first day, I did mining and mob grinding to test it out. This is the second test I'm doing, and after doing the first half live and jumping out here and doing the second half live, yeah, I'm feeling like mining gets me it more. And I haven't opened up one that gave me something good yet either. It's all just useless little savagery and item. I mean, it's not useless, it's just... Until the event is done, the supply goes back to normal and people have sold off and bought off all of the pure oh. platinum crystals that they need or metal solvent. I don't think I want to sell anything I get from those stones yet. I'm going to wait until the prices go back to normal to make bank. There's way too many attacking me, way too many attacking me. Yeah. I just have to wait for my energy to go back up, and then I'm gonna head back out to Pilgrim's Haven to do more mining tonight. Yeah. Burn my energy, then come back out. Grind more karma, try for my compass. I think I have a plan for tonight. I think I do. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. I also have... I think I have one more video I have to edit. So many things planned out for tonight. Just not enough time. Yo, I have not seen any fucking difference with that drop rate. I've not seen one fucking change with that drop rate. I don't know why they... They felt the need to even tell us at that point. Don't even mention it. Don't even bring it up. If I'm gonna go out there and do my alchemy and it's gonna feel like I'm not doing any... Or the update is not in effect. Is it really a fucking update? I could be griping because I'm just not doing it at high enough mastery for the update to really matter or i'm not doing alchemy long enough or some dumb shit like that i just don't feel like that update really mattered well that part of the update that part i am getting the leather glaze i am getting the plywood hardener i just feel like the sturdy that they said yeah i was trying it with 1800 mastery and I was not feeling the the rewards of having the higher sturdy alchemist uh, stones dropping or alchemy stones dropping. Like, oh, fuck that, nah. At that point, you lied to me. Just like some of the comments were on the new outfit that's coming out. Failed hopes, broken promises, shattered dreams... I was really hoping that the alchemy would make it easier or the alchemy update would make it easier to go and try my luck at getting more sharps, trying for the resplendent, eventually going for the splendid because we would be able to get more of the sturdy alchemy stones if you have the higher mastery, you had the, the more rare drops and shit like that, but no. No, they really did us dirty on it. Buff up and continue. Use a more, gotta go through. I should be working on my karma. I really should be. But that compass, though...
Just check. Looks like you got one. That's it. That's it. <laughs> hey, at least you got one. One is better than none. One is better than what I've been doing. I did four hours of alchemy earlier, and I got nothing. Again, I did four hours of alchemy, just straight alchemy earlier. I've been slowly stocking back up on all of my liquid reagent and my powder reagent. We're slowly getting back up to our 60 and 70k. So, I thought, okay, well, because I need a lot of the powder and liquid, I'm going to do a lot of the crafts. I usually do 5k crafts. You know, I'll do it in batches of 5k and go from there. Not one. Not one. I was even mentioning it on my, uh, in the Discord. I just don't really feel like I'm... I'm getting rewarded. <laughs> Like, I'm trying. I'm just not getting. It's like, really, really making me, uh, what was uh, the term I used? It's really discouraging me. There you go. Yeah, 15 repair coupons and you only got one. Not cool, man. Not cool. They said that they updated it and it was going to increase our chances of avoiding just that. And what's going on? We're getting just that. Same thing, different day. And I'm pretty sure when they said that they increased the probability, they probably just moved the decimal over the wrong direction. You know, like how they do with everything else. They'll patch it in later on. And they'll patch it in and tell us, hey, look, the new probability is our 0.0008%. We're, we're patching it in there to increase the probability, even though we know damn well that's not really the case. Like, get, get the fuck out of here. I know better. I know. I shouldn't be griping and I shouldn't be bitching and complaining. I know. We always do that all the time. Saying, though. Nah, they didn't even bother with it. They just dropped down the probability that you'll get it all. <laughs> they said, fuck removing. Okay, fuck that. Nah, we'll do one better. We'll drop the probability. You don't have to remove something if you drop the probability so low that you'll never see it. Look, just because you have 0.8% does not change it from 0.80%. Or 0.08%. Like, it's still fucking 0%. Does not fucking matter. I mean, yeah, it's getting shittier, but it's still fucking 0%. Like, it does not change. Fuck the whole, oh yeah, we, we increased the probability. Yeah, you increased it from, like... Okay, I'll give them benefit of the doubt. I'll, give, I'll try to give them benefit of the doubt. All right, they went from from a 0.8% to a 0.9. Yeah, there you go. Benefit of the doubt. They updated it. They upgraded it. That's why I'm always so skeptical when it comes to updates. I'm gonna have to wait and see how it turns out before I start praising it and shit like that. So I'm like, they might, they may have convinced me to go out there. We'll have to wait and find out. Like the armor and weapon blackstone unification. Like I'm, I'm waiting to see how that goes and plays out. I don't want to sit there and be like, oh yeah, it's gonna be great and turn out to be the the worst fucking thing that they could have ever done to us. And then I'll look like a complete dumbass for sitting there praising it. Like, oh, they did great. Public enemy number one. I'll be like Jordine 2.0. Well, no, I guess at this point in his storyline, it's like Jordine 
9.0. We've killed him so many times in the story. If you guys were here from 2016, you guys have killed Jordine several fucking times in the story, like way too many times in too many different places. Like that man should have been dead. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Dank. Thank you. Thank you. From 8... 0.8% to 0... 0. 0.8... 0... 0... 0... 1%. Boom. We updated it. We made it better. They have enough fanboys already. Not enough fanboys, apparently. Not enough. Keep going. We got more mobs to kill. I'm stuck on a corner. I'm stuck in a corner. No, me. I'm. I'm gonna keep doing that. And stuck on a rock. <laughs> Anything good? Anything great? Anything of value? Can I start celebrating or am I gonna cry? I'm crying. <laughs> I'm just straight crying. God. Ugh. What about a Chris or the unknown or what about you? You gonna give me something good? I've opened up plenty of you today. Nothing. just one crystal just any crystal i don't care what it is like give it to me you know it may be for a little bit but i'd like to be known as that dude that had a, a couple billion worth of crystals just chilling there in the, the warehouse doing nothing with it I like to be that guy. And buff up and go before they stun you. Come on. Give me another necklace. I eventually want to try my luck on tapping them all. I have 27 of the crystals from Land of the Morning Light Excavation sitting there to be crafted. Same here. I don't bother with them anymore. The cost of crafting does not outweigh the cost of selling them. We're not even breaking even. I think we are just coming under breaking even. So mentally for me, I don't feel like it's worth it for me to, to craft it up and then sell it. Maybe craft it up for personal use. But for selling it, nah, I can't. It's just a waste. Like, I know it's still earning money, 
It's still earning 240 mil depending on the crystal and what day and how many are available and all that dumb shit, but it's like... I could have made a lot more if I didn't craft it. You know, if I just sold the materials or if I didn't craft it. <laughs> but for self-use, I have no problem. That's mainly what I keep them for. Yeah, I'm going to keep all of these little bastards here for whenever I, I break something or say there's an event ongoing and the, the price gets doubled and shit like that. Then, okay, yeah, I'll consider going in and selling it. But mainly it's all about self-use and making sure that if I die, I don't have to worry about the cost of having to replace them. I just have to go out. The value of the item, I'm not really worried about. As I will always tell you guys, I'm too fucking casual to worry about the item value. But having them on hand so you don't have to worry about spending actual real silver on the central market is where I'm at. I like to be cheap. What can I say? Oh, he's that damn corner. One day I'll get this. I can feel it in my nuggets. I'm not giving up though. I have to keep an eye on my phone. Whoops, missed. <laughs> I'm stunned, as usual. I'm just trying to buff. Alright, if that's how people want to keep, like, Attacking me and all that. Eat my stars, fuckers. What my karma looking like? Okay, it's 130k left. Negative 130k left. Then I'll be free to run back into town without being murdered again. Never be a criminal. Come on. 
There you go. Why are you not getting on your skateboard? Pop our buff, pop our alchemy stone. Yeah, this is going to be a monthly thing. I have a feeling this is going to be a monthly thing unless I can get this compass within a timely manner. Like, I'm thinking, I'm hoping, and I'm praying for this weekend. Let's end this off finally. Let's not have to see this place again unless I'm going for Dekia. And even then, it's probably going to be a while before I can do any type of Dekia content. You know, and me and my life skilling and bad luck with our actual drops out mob grinding. Either I'm going to have to buy the gear to do Dekia content, or I don't think I'm going to see this anytime soon. Everyone's crowding around me like they know me. I'm like, why was there no damage done? <laughs> I'm like hitting them, but it's like I'm just trying to tickle that fucking ancient weapon. Like, come on, do some chai. Stop being lazy, shy. This is not how we get our compass part. No more stamina. Specialum. Damn, nothing. I was hoping the overkill would have convinced them to drop their compass part. Uh, let's go find out what this fucker wants. Absolutely nothing ever. I miss the days when those treasure goblins actually had treasure. Now they're just annoying. I don't even bother trying to kill them. Like, why? Why should I bother killing them when they only give me a calf run of fucking spirit dust? What's the point? I get more of that from killing a normal mob. Stop stunning me! <laughs> I can't move! Oh, yeah. I forgot the buff. I think that has a chance to drop in the compass part. It used to give a lot more. I've... As many goblins as I've gotten recently, not one of them has dropped anything. They used to drop the... What was it? Any of the boss weapon boxes that you can get out here in Valencia, any of the treasure parts, uh, well, in this case, the compass, 
you could have gotten a l I guess the uh, light stones just random shit now every time I've gotten one just nothing the same reward nothing more nothing less how many more minutes we got four more minutes four more minutes and we'll call it a session i still got to cook me my dinner for my fiance can't exactly have her not eating you know gotta do all that family stuff family comes first yeah. Yeah. Uh, i'm stunned I hate it down here. Come on, give me something of value. Oh, and he reset. Oh, woe is me. to be expected not one drop i did get a good amount of the scrolls tonight stars while I answer this message. Yeah. More scrolls. Okay, before I do anything, let's buff up and try our luck at the last little group. And obviously, because I still need karma, we will be back out here again to do this tomorrow. Clearly, we just can't give up on it. And run around a criminal. I can't Red Dead Redemption myself anymore. I can't do it. I guess I'm gonna have to go to that whole little nook over there. We'll do a complete rotation and then not the other way. <laughs> Evil shot. My original shy. Ah. Uh. I looked amazing. Come on, Bolton. Give me something before I leave. Damn it. <laughs> Try this groove. I think it's over... The next one over. Hey. 
Hey, finally made it around the corner without getting stuck on it like I normally do. He did not die. He's still alive. Kill him. you think they'd have anything better to do than to hoard their compass parts? You guys are greedy. Greedy, I tell ya. Getting close to ending. One more turn over here. <laughs> Kill the little robotic chicken. <laughs> I love those things. Uh, those are amazing. Oh, wrong turn, wrong turn. Much like the movie. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and end this off here, finally. Let's see what we've gotten. Not that much. Not that much. Let's go into the storage, though. Okay, so, for the two hours that we were out here in Histria, going for the Compass and the Unknown Ore, we managed to get... 26 of the Cafra, 7.3k of the Trash, 2 Petals, uh, let's see, 18 of the Armor Stones, 26 of the Weapon Stones, 2 Compass Parts, 28 of the Scrolls, um, 13 of the Sealed Black Magic Crystals, and that's pretty much it. It was pretty much a bummer coming out here today, but... Hopefully tomorrow will be a lot easier and we'll get at least something to make it worth coming out here and trying to get our karma back. But for the most part, if you guys are watching me over on YouTube, be sure to subscribe, turn on all those notifications so you know when I go live, I come out with any new updates, guides, and or shorts. If you guys are watching me over there on Twitch, make sure to follow me so you guys know when I go live and I post up any story updates, anything like that. You guys were amazing. We'll definitely come back out again tomorrow i'm not sure what time just keep an eye out for me and all that good stuff same thing same time same place all that good shit it was great having you all in here huge shout out to all of my channel members over there on youtube you guys are always a you guys are always fucking amazing and my followers or subbies over there on twitch you guys are equally fucking amazing you guys have a nice night and keep gathering out there night everyone